morning. Question. What would you do if you owned a rental property, you were charging fair market value rent, I know that's subjective, and your tenant hasn't paid you for a year? What would you do if you went to the landlord tenant board, you filed a complaint against the tenant, and you still haven't received a court case date, and the tenant still continues to unpay? What would you do if that same tenant was smoking crack in your house and they were causing a disruption for the other tenants that lived in the house and it's a shared HVAC system and you were potentially going to lose the tenants on the upper floor and the lower floor because of, by the way, those are good tenants that are paying the rent, because of the fact that the tenant in the middle unit is smoking crack and being disruptive and doing drug deals and not paying their rent for over a year. As a landlord in the province of Ontario, you are not allowed to kick them out. Does that make sense to you? What would you do? Cash for keys? He ain't gonna leave. So this is actually a real life scenario that I have clients that are in this situation and they are good landlords. They provide beautiful spaces for their tenants. And this is actually happening right now. This is not uncommon. It's not the majority. It's definitely the minority. However, it ruins it for everybody. So Ontario, as I'm sure you all know, is very tenant favoring. We're going to do a comparison to Alberta, which is very landlord favoring, or is it? Is it when it holds the tenants accountable? Because what other business would this be allowed in? And I'm not going to get into cap rates or ROI. This is not what this um, little session is about. This is strictly about landlord and tenancy in the province of Ontario. We're going to compare a little bit to Alberta, which is more landlord favoring. I'm not going to say that it is landlord favoring. It allows the landlord to hold the tenant accountable for what they're contributing or not contributing in their tenancy. That's not really favoring. That's just accountability. So if a tenant isn't paying, they should be removed. That's that's the bottom line. What I want to talk about is what a healthy relationship is between landlords and tenants. And we certainly don't experience that in Ontario right now. And the government of Ontario really is thrusting its housing problem on its citizens. It's divisive. It basically makes the landlords look like they're greedy capitalist bastards that are just out there to screw people. And yes, there are bad landlords out there. I've seen some sneaky things happen. Um, I'll give you a quick little side note here. My children are renting in Waterloo and then out of the blue, they're paying, I'm going to say under market rent value for right now because they tied their lease in, they pay their rent every freaking month on time. They are not disruptive to their landlord. They look after the property and they get a notice out of the blue that a uh, notice of eviction because the landlord wants to sell the property. They're month to month. This can happen. So what do you do? Well, they immediately went into panic mode and started looking for other properties. Then they go back to the landlord and all of a sudden say to, the, say to him and basically, can we use you as a reference? So then he knows they're looking for another property. Well, now if they leave willingly, he has in essence gotten rid of the tenants and he can up the rent to market value, right? Is that, does that seem fair? I don't think it seems fair. So they did manage to secure the property. They are going to have to pay an increase in rent because they've requested now to sign a lease. So they at least know that they have a secure um, period of time in order to maintain their home. I totally get that. They are screwed. There really was nothing that they could do other than find another place. So landlords do have rights as well. Trying to evict the tenant isn't necessarily easy sometimes, um, but it is very tenant favoring in Ontario. And the reality is, is a tenant can smoke crack in your place. They can totally abuse you and you can't get rid of them easily. 
So the bottom line regarding all of that uh, with the government and housing and all of the issues that we have here is if we didn't have such high interest rates, if we didn't have such high permitting fees for building, if we didn't have such high mortgage rates, the rents would not have gone up to the extent that they have. And the only opportunity legally that a landlord has to raise rents in a high level rate is when they have a changeover of tenants. So reality is mortgages are high now. Mortgages are more realistic. They were very unrealistic and interest rates were low for a very long time. So who pays the brunt of that? Well, the tenants pay the brunt of that because this is housing. This is what it costs to live in Canada. This is the, this is a byproduct directly of our provincial and federal government and everything that they're doing to control inflation because we all know that that happens with interest rates. So we have to address this issue because the housing price uh, crisis shouldn't be thrust onto the citizens when the government has caused it. So <clears throat> from a landlord tenancy perspective, we need to have more respect both ways. Like in Alberta. So in Alberta, it's based on industry. So if industry goes up, uh, increases, then rates go up. If industry declines, then rates decline for rentals. And I'm having birds fly into my window because they see my lovely plants. Freaky. (laughs) So what should happen here is rates really should be relative to the industry. There should be a little bit of leniency uh, for a landlord to up the rates if they've had increases. They shouldn't be penalized. So what we're seeing is the reality rental markets, it's a business when people get into this. It's very tight. Margins are tight in this business. You have one problem go wrong. You have to compensate for that. Let's say your furnace breaks down. You need a new hot water tank. You need to replace toilets. You need to update. Margins are tight. The increase in equity happens over time and it's a long game and that's why investors get into this. It's not a short-term game. They have every right to having a, a return on investment, especially over a period of time because the reality is you wouldn't be renting if you could afford to buy a house. So you can't fault somebody. They're not a greedy bastard just because they're a landlord. Rights should go both ways. So I just want to put this out there and sort of end on this note. In what business would you be allowed to continue to steal for an entire year and not be charged with a criminal offense? It's If you don't pay your rent, it's stealing. Just remember that. This is a business. And if you don't pay your rent, you are stealing. Bottom line. So what I want to end this note on is there are websites out there that help both parties. They help both parties shine and they also point out the negligence in situations like my client. One of the websites is called openroom.ca. This is especially um, fabulous in a province like Ontario where it leans towards the tenants and not the landlord because what it does is it shows excellent tenants and landlords. Equally, it highlights the bad tenants and landlords. So you could go to this website, openroom.ca, and you could look right now to see what's been filed in the LTB. You can see what the issues are. You can also go in and find out, um, I mean, you have access to credit scores, obviously. BorrowWell is a fabulous app. I tell my people to use it all the time because credit checks should be done. The other bit of advice that I always give to potential future landlords uh, or current landlords that aren't running it like a business is check past references, not just the immediate past, but two or three past for landlords. Because the reality is when you want to dump a tenant, you're going to say good things about them to get them out. So those are my hot tips today for landlord and tenancy. I hope this helps. Remember openroom.ca and uh, have a great week. Ciao for now. Peace out. Love y'all. Bye.